Good morning, planet Earth. It is I, Star Lord New Thor 7. It is Monday, and it's going to be a weird week. We had two coronal mass ejections, I think, in the last 24 hours. When I mean, the sun acts weird, or the weather acts weird, and people act weird. And I include lava and the Earth's core as either Earth weather or space weather. Um, so, good morning. It's going to be a great week, but everybody be ready in this Asteroid Fight Club weird world. So weird, even 100% of scientists agree. Yeah, dude. 2017 is weird. That's cool, man. We still got a lot of good, cool people in the game. All right. I'm at weather.com because weather is something that affects every single one of us. It affects me and it affects you. And it even affects states, con countries, corporations, businesses, churches. <clears throat> All right. And this is something I've been covering, so I feel compelled to continue to cover it because I've been covering it, so I'll keep covering it. It's not like the story's getting boring. What we're talking about is an American volcano, which is a weird term in itself. That's why I was like, hey, the story's interesting. It's an American volcano that is active, alive, pumping out smoke, ash, lava inside of Earth. Stuff like that. All right. Island-altering eruption of Alaska's Bogoslav volcano seen in images from space. This is by Sean Breslin. Yep, that volcano looks active. You hear the stock markets are active. And they're always active, but they're more active than usual. Let's see what happens. Alaska's Boslok Gustav Island is located in a remote area of the world. Really tell me more about it. Because I'm guessing if it was in the middle of America, or definitely on the east or west coast, it was active. We'll be hearing a lot more about it in the non still photograph media. Hey, look. Starship commander signal. That's a good sign, right? And une <clears throat> But on May 28th, un an unexpected eruption had major impacts. I think I covered it around that. The Aleutian Islands Bugs Off Volcano went off on Sunday and spewed ash. It was yesterday, the 11th of June. It spewed ash and gas more than 3,500 feet in the air during an eruption that lasted 55 minutes. So it's like, as a human being, can you imagine lasting 55 minutes before you erupt? And then when you erupt, lasting 55 minutes? Wait, I think I misused a word. According to USA Today, such ash clouds can be, can threaten jet engines. And the eruption at Bogoslov prompted the Alaska Volcano Observatory, the AVO, I wonder if they've trained with the AVA, to issue its highest aviation warning. And that goes out to aviators out there, flying above Earth, whether it be ball, flat, Taurus, I cannot confirm either way. <clears throat> the jetpacks I thought we were going to have in 2017 have not arrived yet. Hold on. On that note, I'm gonna light a cigarette. Good morning. Maybe an energy drink and a cigarette will stop being my breakfast. The day civilization is not hanging on by a weird thin thread, as it is at war with itself, going into a war of attrition, using up all its good resources to fight itself. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so people are like, quit smoking. I'm like, hey, dude. When the world is more stable. Speaking of that, hey, Thor News is a publicly funded. YouTube channel, bringing you the truth, and keeping humor and hope, rock and roll, romance alive. So if you'd like to donate, uh, leave a link at the top. We appreciate all the hard work. All right, where was I? Oh, yeah, talking about this American volcano that continues to keep exploding, and now it's exploding, people. This thing is growing land above ground, or above sea. Of sea level. And that's fascinating, right? The Earth is growing. Like, I have a theory that the sun is active, it eats the Earth's core, creating magma. And so the Earth continues to expand, all the planets are expanding. 
or contracting. I don't know. Science can fight over it for years. I'm just saying this is probably important since it's right up the road past California, Oregon, Washington, Canada. And then you go around the dragon spine and it's right there. Hey, can you guess these national parks from space? No. I'm busy going, why don't I get to see a video of this? Taking a drag of my cigarette while we look at this photograph. And what it is is ash is like fiberglass and a bunch of earth elements that are not good in jet engineering. <clears throat> so if jet flies through it, the engine stops working. And if you're in a plane or jet that's flying and the engine's not working, well, that's not a scenario anyone wants to be in. Unless you have a jetpack and you should fly out, but we, we don't have those now. Can you imagine if they had the first jetpack? Like they just announced a new Xbox X was coming out. It's like. As 500 bucks. So if they came with the first jetpack, or jetpack T, um, I don't know what it would cost. Alaska's Bogoslav volcano erupts Sunday, May 28, 2017. Great. So now I haven't shown us the one from yesterday because it was a while back. This is on the front page of weather.com. It's believed a herd of fur seals was, oh, uh -oh. so Bogoslav before and during the eruption. You know, that means it wasn't bad. They'd get off before you'd think. Probable fur, full, probable fur seals on beach. That's interesting. That's the cool thing is, at least none of this is boring. You know, I can't, I don't, it's been like 1999 since I was like, oh my god, I'm bored. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've waited in line. I've been like, I wish this line would go faster, but never technically been bored. You know. Okay, so June 5th, after the eruption. Pre eruption, blue outline represents approximate water perimeter. Interesting. Digital globes, images before and after the eruption also suggest part of the island was destroyed by the explosive blast. Here's what it looked like before. Hmm. Whoa. Wow. And that is after the eruption. And that's over there by the dragon spine. So I guess it just erupted yesterday as well. Alaska's Bogoslav Island is seen Monday, June 5th, 2017, after a large eruption. Bogoslav had no major eruptions for some 25 years, what about before that, before roaring back into life in the last six months. The volcano has erupted about 40 times in the last six-month span and didn't, didn't go off a single time the two months before May 28th. According to KUCB, a non-profit public media organization in Alaska, but they told us it's a non-profit organization. It's not like they put in front of CNN like a profit organization or they put in front of even the weather.com profit organization. So it's like, I guess we should totally trust this information because it's a non-profit. Although I think non-profits have tax breaks. Anyway, <laughs> I don't even know. Let's enlarge it. I would say that's what she said, but we're moving on into a, a less mature age, I guess. Yeah, there's a dragon spy, man. Um, so I call that shelf right there. I'm sure I'm not the only. I know I'm not the only. I know I'm not the first. All right, so there you go. Dragon spine of North America. The bridge between Russia is growing. That's interesting, right? So I don't like to cover the interesting stories. Despite the frequent eruptions, about 75% of them have gone unpredicted by the AVO and by everybody else, I'm guessing. And, uh, I'm Dutch since, and suspicious observers, that doesn't count. I think, I haven't checked the records, but I would guess, just knowing those astonishers, they might have guessed a couple, but for some reason, yeah. Truth community is just not that popular with the rest of the media. 
except for, you know, Alex Jones. And I don't think his earthquake predictions are anywhere near suspicious observers or Dutch sense, you know? Or even BP Earthwashes, man. I'd say those three guys are kicking the crap out of definitely everybody else on earthquake predictions. And if they're doing enough YouTube salaries, that's it's a, it's an impressive feat, let me tell you. Okay, where was I? Yeah, 75% unpredicted. That's because the tiny island doesn't have eruption. Monitoring instruments. We're just going to let that... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a silent drag on my cigarette and let, let that soak in. Hey, wait, I just had a great idea. But what if they haven't predicted them because there's no instruments there? Well, then how did... BP and Dutch and... S.O. Ben. And technically me. Because I say, yeah. Um, every time you get to see me, you're going to get some type of volcanic activity to follow. But, you know, it's more of a general macro sense. They're more micro guys and can predict locations, which is very, very impressive to me. Still, the scientists intend to continue studying the volcano during future eruptions. Because there's much to be learned from its behavior. It's different from most other volcanoes we deal with. Yep, I'll say that. I agree. As Thor knew my science, my science is good. Don't let the jokes fool you. And don't think because I'm so freaking handsome, my science isn't solid. You know, I don't call myself a Star Lord for nothing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's why. But yeah, my science is good. And I'm telling you, this volcano is fascinating. If you're on the West Coast, in the middle of America, or even on the East Coast. Even in Mexico, all the way down to South America. Heck, Russia, Asia. Yeah, this is a fascinating volcano, man. And all the volcanoes that are going off, and there are many record numbers, I believe. Going off right now. They're all fascinating, too. Alright, so the sunrise is pretty. And the bird song is pretty. So, here we go. <laughs> Where were we? They didn't have my. Seventy-five uh, percent aren't predicted, and they don't have monitoring instruments, man. Which is weird. Like I go to a Ross Dress for Less to find a pair of running shoes, and they have like seventy-five bubble cameras right there at the checkout point. You know, you have seventy-five bubble cameras in a Ross Dress for Less, but you can't put bubble cameras up there on the moving spine that's growing land and stuff. Okay, great. Twenty seventeen, man. And even if it did, they likely would have been destroyed when the volcano first went off in December. Avio research geologist Michelle Coombs told the Scientific American, I wonder what his name is, or maybe it's all of us. Still, the scientists intend to continue studying the volcano. No, no, don't do that. That'll lead us to hell. That was a dumb joke. The road to hell is paved with the best intentions. I heard that once or twice. Some, some guy on Twitter. Still, scientists intend to continue studying the volcano during future eruptions because there's much to be learned from its behavior. <clears throat> wow. And to me, and I'm crazy, people. I have no fun at parties because my small talk game is like zero. Even if you are the prettiest girl in the world, especially then, really. Um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, it's way more interesting to me than, like, how many scoops of ice cream Trump had. You know what I'm saying? So, I would, would still like to say at this point, today, Trump's like, hey, you know what? The volcanoes and the weather, they're weird. We should all keep our eyes out, keep watching this stuff. And I'll be very proud of him if he can do that at some point. And, you know, take his focus off being mad at the New York Times. <sighs> okay. It's different from most other volcanoes we deal with because it comes through the ocean. Yep. And so there's a different character to the planet. There's more lightning detection. What? There's more lightning detection. We're getting off these. So it's an interesting science study as well. Wow, so it's not only active American volcano science, it's also lightning science. Hmm, that sounds fascinating. 
way more fascinating than dark matter. You know, lightning is lightning is a wonderful, beautiful thing, and then it creates thunder. And thunder is almost like the voice of God. Too many times, you know, it's like you can hear inside heaven for just a split second. And perfect thunder feels like a great hug from Mother Nature and God. So yeah, we should be studying this stuff. You know, it's definitely. I guess that just like all the good, interesting stuff that crowdsources does. And so here I am. Okay, let's continue to move forward. It's going to be one of those days. It's different from most of the volcanoes we deal with because it comes to the ocean. One reason it's different, it's growing an island that's too... There's a different character to the plumes. That's all the smoke and ash and fiberglass and guts of earth that are coming out. Some more lightning detection. Wow, this thing is just so fascinating. So it's an interesting science study as well. I agree. AVO geophysicist Hans Schwager told KTVA.com and Alaska CBS affiliate. More on weather.com. Incredible volcano photography. So yeah, this, uh, this one thing that is breaking islands and making islands continues to pop off. Snap, crackle, pop. Let's say someone cue the volcano lady. And my long time Thor News subscribers will know exactly what I'm talking about. Whoa, that's cool. But this is unedited, so I can't put the cool volcano lady in. But I got a feeling I definitely need to drag out every single volcano video I've ever done. I've done 1,300 videos. So there's going to be quite a few. Oh, yeah, did I mention that Thor News is publicly funded? That means you. That's how I can bring you the truth from a single man standpoint. <clears throat> Trying to be the bridge between the power and the people. You know? Man. Okay. So, yeah, I saw the sun this morning, and it was red and orange and yellow. Beautiful. Lava. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know why that made me. Dun, 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 that, you know? Okay, so there you go. There's your galaxy. I think it's a moon. Man, the moon's... It's a day moon today. Day moon... Day moons are good. I love a good day moon, you know? I love you guys. I'm in a good mood today. I don't even know why. Maybe it's because life is good. You know? I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So, yeah, this is where I got it. It's having... This thing continues to go off, and I want to do my due diligence on weather for today it was around the front page so it was like oh here we go again and um i haven't done an actual weather video with all the cut stuff for like a week so the next one i do is gonna be pretty good with way too much information and it's gonna go way past you not way past you just so much trust me i watched a lot of it already and it's wow wow and wow okay so severe storm threats in the upper plains Ms. west Erie site emerges from water. It'll be the first time this year. That's for sure. Record heat wave to continue breaking records as people argue Pepsi or Coke. Trump or Hillary. Tropical depression forms in the Pacific. Yep. It's going to bring more moisture to Texas in the middle of America. Oh, and it's snowing in June. That's where we're at. And I love you guys, and we'll end with extreme weather of our solar system's other planets. Hmm. Is it, is it because the sun is acting weird? And possibly pregnant with the sun, baby. We'll talk about that slowly in the future. Love you guys. Stay cool. Be cool. And let's try to have an amazing week. But be prepared for anything and everything. Be prepared to adapt and pivot at a moment's notice. But let's hang in there for love, justice, freedom, and that every person born on earth, you know, deserves to live here. Okay? I love you guys. Peace out.